The piece of writing that I will be reading is a post that I wrote on March 1st, 2022, the first day of Women's History Month last year, and it is titled, Who is This Woman? This post was inspired by a photograph taken by Hans Runesen, and the photograph is titled, The Woman with the Handbag. It features a woman named Danuta Danielson. It is Women's History Month, and in honor of the first day of this month, I choose to remember Danuta Danielson. While reading about empowered women in history the other day, I scrolled across a photo titled The Woman with the Handbag, and I could not stop staring at the woman in the focus of the photo. Her entire body stands there in this moment of time with a burning passion that can be seen in every bit of her body in this image. I cannot look away. Her toes are pulling down against the road through her shoes, and her fists are gripped tight. Her hips are set in a powerful stance, like she won't be moved. Who is this woman? What do you see? I read further about her. And I learned that she grew up in a Polish Jewish family, and her mother survived an experience at a concentration camp during World War II. Danielson was in Sweden with her husband when the pictured right wing rally of neo Nazis marched through. The photographer, Hans Runesen, was also present and was able to capture the above photo of Danuta Danielson in action. This powerful and strong expression by Danuta Danielson against one man who marched in the name of hate in her presence, pierces through time and speaks volumes for the efforts of shining a light on ugly things that try to hide away and maintain existence. Ugly things do not simply appear solely because the light shined on them. The light revealed what was already there. Some may not agree with this statement, but I believe Danuta Danielson was acting as a necessary light during a very dark time when she struck that man with her handbag. I find Danuta Danielson to have been a very interesting person, and she has been added to my personal list of people in history who I wish I could have a conversation with. I wish to ask her if her first thought was to stand and scream, or was the strike she gave in this photo a final straw? a symbol of exhausted exasperation from existing in an environment surrounded by a collection of rampant humanitarian issues. I have so much I wish to ask her. Sadly, I have read that she committed suicide due to mental illness that was exacerbated by the way she was treated by indifferent people in her community. This was not long ago at all. It is sad to learn that she passed away the very same decade I was born, in the 1980s. My curiosity has me wondering what else could have been, and it has me honestly examining myself for changes that I can make moving forward too. May Danuta Danielson rest in peace, and may this photo of her be seen as a light during a time of darkness. May those who read and understand continue to under continue to carry the message I believe she intended to share. And may those who are indifferent decide to be indifferent no more. We are all in this life together. If you are interested in reading more about Danuta Danielson, I have shared a few links below to a small handful of more sources that I personally enjoyed reading and learning from. When reading about different topics, I like to lean in more heavily during bound more heavily toward bound and written work along with sources with .org and .edu in their web pages while looking for diverse sources with information. Always remember to stay aware and watch for red flags. One big red flag, if you cannot find the information you read from one source across diverse sources, the information you have read may not be true. I want to remind everyone to remember to utilize your local library for more resources too. There is so much to be found between the pages on the shelves. And then I wanted to include this statement about the photograph also. The photograph included in this post was taken on April 13th, 
1985 in Sweden by photojournalist Hans Runesen. It is documented as a photo of Danuta Danielson at 38 years old, hitting a marching neo-Nazi with her handbag. And we'll look back at the photo again to see Danuta Danielson hitting that neo-Nazi with the handbag that is in her right hand. Thank you everyone for listening.